Better 3.6 LTS which was just released and here are the major performance improvements and features. Let's use this moment to salute the Blender devs, they are literally gods. This might not be a huge update to the UI for old users but for new users this will be very helpful. Tabs in the property menu now display their names immediately you hover on it compared with older versions. The open recent menu now displays a lot more project files as opposed to 10 files on the older versions. You can now fit out three Spency objects in the Outliner menu. You can also now drag and drop files in the file browser from their names instead of using the icons. Editing text objects just got easier as you can edit the text as you would on Microsoft Word. You can literally just click to place the cursor anywhere and you can also change the style just like you would on any typing software. Instead of scrolling and guessing when using the proportional edits to edit your mesh, you can just change the size value manually on the menu available now. Modeling just got smoother and faster as memory usage of messages has been reduced by 25% with large geometries. Working with shape keys and multi-res objects and the conversion of your mesh has been improved by 50%. For Desa meshes, the subdivision modifier is now faster. A new transform orientation has been introduced called parents, which uses the local orientation of the parent object. Selecting points of curves is now 18 times faster and selecting curves is 4 times faster. This will be helpful when working with Blender's new head system. The asset browser now shows the full name and description of the asset as you hover. The asset library can now set to use an alternative path when linking assets. A new asset pack on human based meshes is now available to download for free on Blender's website. The link is in the description. Spheres and cylinder UV projection now respect seams. Showcasing UV maps data in the viewport is now three times faster. Blender now has a better UV packing system as it handles shapes with holes as well as concave, as well as a new option for rotation, overlapping islands, as well as pinned islands. In weight paint mode, you can now increase and decrease the selection like you would when editing a mesh. The only show selected keyframes is now in preferences in the animation section. A new Gaussian smooth operator in the graph editor is a new method for smoothing animation data and has more options. For blending operations, the new shortcut is Alt D and for smoothing operations, the new shortcut is Alt S in the graph editor. You can now add keyframes to an active curve. You can also now pin channels in the dope sheets. Geometry knows now supports simulation and I'm excited to see how artists are going to be creative with this. To use this, you add the simulation zone, connecting geometry to geometry and every change you make in the zone is what is going to appear. The result can also be baked and cached with the new simulation panel in the physics properties. A new node called the Mesh to Volume node will create a proper open VDB volume. If you don't know what a node does, you can just right click and go to the online manual to learn about it. Using the instances of points, points to vertices, mesh to points, instances to points, stored names attributes and, and capture attributes when creating copies and converted geometry is now 10 times faster. The mesh to curve node is now 10 times faster when animation playback is happening in the viewport. For rendering, loading these meshes to be rendered is now 5 times faster. Loading UV maps is now 60 times faster. When clouds are now loaded 9 times faster, curves can also be loaded 10 times faster. Light trees, which was introduced in Blender 3.5, now uses less memory when rendering, and the compilation speed is now 10 times faster. Using AMD's GPU rendering, using hardware ray tracing, speed things up will have trouble rendering motion blur and hair shadows. Intel users will also experience improvements in rendering. The glass shader is now more accurate at a higher roughness level. 13 more compositing nodes has been added. The plane track deform node, the convert color space node, the stabilize 2D node, the denoise node, the corner pin node, max node, texture node, map UV node, ID max node, fog glow in glare node, displace node, Z combine node, anti aliasing node, bicubic interpolation and repetition along an axis. 
Exporting meshes with FBX is now 2 times faster and importing FBX meshes is now 45 times faster. The TVDS importer format has now been brought back. The PLY importer and exporter is now between 4 to 3 times faster and some other improvements. The USD importer is now more powerful. What's your favorite update that you are excited about or you're going to be using a lot now? Leave a comment down below.